Kia ora Year 12 and 13. Um, here's the latest scholarship calculus video. This is part of question 1 from the 2012 exam. Okay, so um, this is the first half of question 1, so this is actually worth 4 marks, not 8 marks. And it starts with a show that question, which is kind of like a warm-up. Um, so you can try that one, and then the next part is looking at a cubic equation. So the equation x cubed is equal to x plus 1 has a unique real solution. And again, we're asked to show that this solution is blah, blah, blah. Now, just some basic exam technique. Even if you can't manage to do the first part, you can carefully read the second part, and somehow we're going to use that first part to help us with the second part. So I want, want you now to pause the video and have a go at doing each part on your own. On the next slide, I'm going to go through part one. Alright, well, on the left-hand side, we've got this. The cube root of a plus b plus the cube root of a minus b, all cubed. And we're asked to show that that is equal to 2a plus 3 times the cube root of a squared minus b squared times the cube root of a minus b plus the cube root of a plus b. So when you first look at that, that looks hideous. Um, what we're going to do to get it going is start off by rewriting the left hand side with fractional powers. Okay, and we're going to keep one eye, as usual, in a proof on where we're heading. Um, but we're going to work by expanding out the left-hand side. So the left-hand side looks like this. So pause the video and do this step now, because all of you can do this. Right, so we've got a plus b to the power of one-third, plus a minus b to the power of one-third, and that's all cubed. Okay, now we've got a cubic expansion. We can do that by writing out the three brackets, which is going to work, but it's going to be a bit, bit messy. Or we can remember from early on in year 13, when we do a bit of algebra before we did some trig, that we can expand this by using Pascal's triangle. We'll be doing more of this when we get to complex numbers as well. So here, this expands to be x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Right, so we can apply this result to this. Okay, so again, pause the video and try that step now. I'm going to do it on the next slide. Okay, so a plus b the power of one third this is going to equal well we're going to have a plus b to the power of one third cubed right plus three times the first term a plus b to the one third squared times a minus b plus 3 times the first term to the power of 1. Whoops, I've done something, I've missed something here. That's to the power of 1 third. Okay, so that's how that should be. Um, A minus B to the 1 third squared plus A minus B to the 1 third cubed. Right, now just a couple of things for when you've written this down. I've written it out in minute detail in case anyone's having trouble seeing that expansion, right, but obviously when you're writing it out, you don't need to put in that this one is to the power of 1, and you don't need to put in that this one is to the power of 1 either. It's just so that you get into seeing the pattern that we're using to expand. Okay, so we've got all of that. Now that's going to simplify down quite nicely. Really, it is. So this first term works out to be a plus b 
to the power of 1, right? because we just multiply those powers. The next one we can rewrite like this. 3 times a plus b to the 1 third, a plus b to the 1 third, a minus b to the 1 third. And the same idea with the next one, we get 3 times a plus b to the power of 1 third. Like that. And my last term, again, simplifies really nicely. It gives me a minus b. So we should be starting to feel quite happy because we can see that the a's are going to add up and give us 2a. And the b, take away the b, will go. Right, so pause the video, get down to that step, and then do as much simplifying as you can. Okay, and a hint, um, you should be looking for the difference of two squares coming in there. All right, so I'll keep going on the next slide. Okay, so that equals 2a plus 3. We've got a common factor here of a plus b times a minus b to the power of one third, right? So I'm just factorizing, taking uh, this is the common factor. And then I get a plus b to the power of one third plus a minus b to the power of one third. Okay, and that equals two a plus three times the cube root of a squared minus b squared times the cube root of a plus b plus the cube root of a minus b as required. Okay, so that's the first part of question one. Now we're going to go on to the next part of question one. All right, but just before I do that, here is today's musical interlude. First person to identify the song and send me an email or tell me in class gets the chocolate fish. Right, okay, so now on to the second part where we have to use what we've done to, to show that there is a unique real solution for this equation. So we've got x cubed equals x plus 1. Right, so we don't have any easy way to solve that, but um, we're going to show that this solution that you can see um, if you wrote it down on the first screen, which is this horrible thing here, plus another similar term. So we're looking to show that this row will solve this equation. Okay, so we don't have to try and solve this equation, we just have to show that this is a solution. And we're going to do that by using this result here. So pause the video and have a go on your own. Um, you will, well, I'll give you a clue on the next slide. Right, so let's have a look at the equation. Well, we've got x cubed is equal to x plus 1, which at first glance bears no resemblance to the, the awful thing that we just proved. But the left-hand side of what we just had was this. All right, so a, a sum cube rooted plus a difference cube rooted cubed was equal to 2a blah 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 blah. Okay, now if you look at what they've suggested for rho, rho is equal to the sum, the cube root of a sum, whoops, a you know, pretty yucky one, but nonetheless it fits the pattern. And then we've got a cube root of a difference. Right, so if you're staring at that for a while, well actually hopefully not too long, it looks an awful lot like this thing we've got here. So let's have a go at figuring out what A might be. Well, A looks like it's going to be a half. And B looks like it's going to be, yuck, one sixth root 23 over 3. So it's pretty cool that this very weird solution is going to turn out to be the exact real solution to our cubic. 
Now, if we look at the first result, we can see we're going to need to use both a squared and b squared, so we might as well go ahead and work those out now. So b squared will be 1 over 36 times 23 over 3, which is 23 over 108. Very strange. Right, now, now that you've got that far, pause the video and now see if you can keep going, working now with the right-hand side of that equation. Right, so we've got rho cubed, and we know that that's equal to this left-hand side, 2a plus 3 times the cube root of a squared minus b squared times the next bit there. All right, so we know that because we did that in part 1. So now we're just going to substitute in, and we get 2 times 1 half, plus 3 times the cube root of a squared, 1 quarter, minus b squared, 23 over 108, times the cube root of 1 half minus 1 sixth, that, yuck, plus the cube root of 1 half plus 1 sixth, root 23 over 3. Okay, and we've got to be hoping that we get this to end up looking like this. Right, so that's our goal because we're trying to show that rho is a solution to x cubed equals x plus 1. So we need to now simplify what we've got here. So we get rho cubed is equal to 1 plus 3 times the cube root of 1 quarter minus 23 over 108. So that's 27 over 108 minus 23 over 108 times all of that stuff there. So we're down to rho cubed is equal to 1 plus the cube root of 4 over 108 times all of that. Sorry, I've missed a 3 out in that last one. It's 1 plus 3 times the cube root. 1 plus 3 times, now the cube root of 4 over 108, and I'm doing this really slowly, so I know some of you are not going to immediately spot that, right? But 4 over 108 is 1 over 27. Right, and you should have your eyes open for this and this simplifying to give you 1. And that's what happens here. So it's 1 plus 3 times 1 third times the cube root of 1 half minus this. Plus, okay, so half plus 1 sixth root 23 over 3. All right, so at this point you should be starting to feel very, very happy because this is now rho cubed is equal to 1 plus rho. Okay, which is what we need. So what we've shown, I'll just write it out on a new slide. So when rho is equal to that thing, Then, rho cubed is equal to rho plus 1, i.e. rho solves x cubed equals x plus 1. Okay, and that's the end. Now, you didn't have to show that that was unique. You were told that there was a unique real solution, and you just had to show that rho equals blah, blah, blah was that solution. So we're finished. Okay, so it um, looks impossible when you first get into it, but what you're doing there is you're just applying stuff you already know. right? You're using the difference of two squares, and you're doing a little bit of cubic expansion. right? But it's really just masses of algebra, and it all falls into place. 
Okay, um, I hope that made sense. And as usual, it's really important that you now go back and have another go at the question on your own now that you've seen how to do it. Thanks very much for watching.